hey, uh, fprintf here. And so I'm putting together a quick little video how you can get much better sounds for backing tracks when using uh, iReal Pro. So many of you who use iReal Pro, it's a fantastic app for practicing music and for uh, creating backing tracks to practice against. And um, I found it's been fabulous, but one thing I, I cannot stand is the embedded MIDI files or the MIDI instruments. They, you know, compared to modern instruments, they just, you know, they sound like 1970s uh, toy instruments. So one of the things that uh, the awesome folks over at iReal have created is the ability to export a file, a MIDI file, so you can export the audio but you can also export MIDI, and the nice thing about GarageBand and Beatmaker and others, but GarageBand particularly, is that you can import that MIDI file, just drag and drop it using the onboard uh, capabilities, and then all of a sudden you get access to all of the GarageBand features and, and instruments. So you can change the bass, and you've got dozens and dozens of basses. Well, maybe it's not dozens, but you got several, and they're very high quality instruments. Um, you certainly got lots of synthesizers, lots of drum uh, sounds and loops and so on and so forth. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to get the screen recorder going here, and uh, we are going to start out with iReal Pro. So when you open up iReal Pro here, you are going to be presented with, you know, your regular home screen. Down the left-hand side are your songs. Uh, if you're in that mode, you might be in playlist, forums, whatever. Select songs, then you're going to select the uh, song that you want. It will show up in the right-hand side. You are going to, in the upper right-hand corner, you are going to choose the export feature, or the, the little square with the arrow. Click on share audio. It's not the most intuitive place to, uh, to find it, but you click on share audio, then you choose MIDI. Now it will ask you where do you want to put it. Um, I use uh, the files uh, feature. It, uh, it's got a lot of uh, different options here, but uh, GarageBand's not one of them. So we're going to save to files, and then it will come up and the first thing it will say is where do you want to put it. It's in my iCloud drive, so I do need to be connected to the internet. Um, I'll choose GarageBand for iOS. Click on Add. Uh, in my case, it's got an existing item there. I'm just going to choose Replace, but if you're doing this for the first time, it will obviously not do that. It actually won't ask you anything. It'll just put it there, and it'll use the file name 12varblues.mid. Then we're going to switch over to GarageBand. Let's open up GarageBand here. And so while it's coming up here, um, actually this is from when I did it earlier, so we'll go into My Songs, upper right hand corner, create a new song. I've got a bunch of different, op I got a bunch of different options here that I can choose from, um, but audio recorder is the simplest one to use. Um, I'm going to go into the tracks mode of my song. You can see I'm starting out with a bunch of blank tracks here with one with a microphone. Upper right hand corner there is the loop symbol. So I am going to choose that. It will come up with, uh, we'll start with Apple Loops. There'll be files and then there's uh, music. So I choose files and then one of the hints that I, came, that I found was that the list that's on GarageBand is not necessarily the most refreshed list that's what, what is in um, iCloud. So I always choose browse items from the file app. Here you will see 12 bar blues. So you can see that that list before had a bunch of different files. This one has the most recent, so I can click, uh, I press it there. It will then import it in. In my case, it added it a third time, 12 bar blues three. I'm going to press and drag. Whoops, see that? Sometimes press the little thing. Boom. You have to press and hold it. See, there, there's a difficulty, right? 
Press and hold it and drag. That's it, it's super simple. And so when you go to start it, you'll get the four count in, and then you get very, very high quality audio. It's, um, it's really fabulous, much better sound. I'm gonna stop this for a second. One of the challenges is the volume and the velocity are controlled by iReal Pro. So you're going to want to set your your balances and your volumes of your MIDI tracks um, before you import it into uh, GarageBand. Because if you look at, um, if we slide this out of the way, all of the volumes for the different instruments are set. They're grayed out. I can't change them. I, if you know how to, once it's imported and you figure out how to change the, the volumes, I'd appreciate the comments down below. Um, for example, I didn't like the fact that the drums are so loud and they're really very overpowering everything. Um, it's probably the way that I have my balances set up in iReal Pro. But then again, once it's in and the velocity of all the instruments is different anyway, um, so it's sounding different on GarageBand. But, uh, you know, I can change it from a P bass to a uh, slap bass to all different kinds here. It's a fabulous feature. So anyway, thanks for listening. I appreciate it. And oh my gosh, you know, six minutes to explain this. It took me two minutes before. So anyway, hope you enjoy. Thanks.